Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I know I'm about six months late on this video. Uh, I first unboxed the Mad Cat Street Fighter V Fight Stick Terminal Edition uh, back on February 20th of this year when it came out. And there were several questions if the tournament stick would actually work on PC. And as we see here, Mad Cat actually has a link that was released on April 14, 2016 where you can download the drivers for PC and play it on your desktop. So when you click on the link that was posted on Twitter where you can see that brings you to the MacCat site where it says drivers and software. You go down to your operating system and I do have a Windows 10 64 bit and you click, you select the product that you use Fight Stake Terminate Edition 2 Plus is mine. So once you downloaded it, I wish I already did, then you want to extract or run the program you're gonna have to click yes and it's gonna extract everything so now this is the first time I got this prompt it says you need to update to the dot net runtime I'm not a computer geek per se so I just had to google it right there I put dot net runtime 3.5 I clicked on the second link it brings you up to the Microsoft web page and you just press download so that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, some of you might come into that issue if your update, if your Windows updated or not. I guess my up, my Windows wasn't optimized. So here we go. We're downloading the program. It's actually pre all these programs are actually very small. The driver itself is small. This um, framework service pack is actually very small as well. As you see, I'm actually speeding up the the video because I don't want to bore you with these extra details, but. There we go, it's finished downloading. Once you click on the program, you want to select yes, and it's going to download and install more of the features for Windows. As it says right here, the .NET Framework 3.5 includes the .NET 2.0 and 3.0 softwares. So as we take a while to see how this downloads and installs, it's actually, it's actually a couple minutes. I'm going to say roughly 10 to 15, depending on how fast your computer is. I do have a Dell XPS 15 that I did unbox. This is like a re really premium laptop, so everything runs really smoothly for me. So after you close that program, you want to go into the Fight Stick. And I made another newbie error right here. Um, when you install this, you might want to, uh, you're going to click yes again. So I just wanted to reinstall it. But again, it's going to give me a bad prompt because I already have a previous um, program open which which it prompts me right here so all you have to do is close the previous one which I'm about to do just you know get rid of it and then restart that same program to install the drivers for the mad cat so you can press yes to all to overwrite everything there it is it brings up the install screen click I accept and yes now it's going to install the terminal stick now we're going to double check that after the installation if this is if it's going to work because you're going to have to install the right driver either 32 bit for your windows 10 or 64 bit for windows and right here this is just the readme notepad that's included in the driver i glanced through it didn't really need to use it this shows here on the bottom right hand corner your shortcuts that it's installed it gives you the two options I didn't really play much around that so we're looking at the installation now of the video game testing out if the arcade stick works I hope you guys uh, check out that Nvidia optimization video I did to optimize it for your laptop which I try to do it for uh, Counter-Strike and right here we have the intro for Street Fighter 4 and I actually like this intro a lot compared to Street Fighter 5. There's nothing there. So we'll take a look at it, look to see the animations. Right now I just showed you the USB and the USB I'm about to plug in right now. And as I insert into the slot, it should appear that it's uh, installed. But double checking, I'm gonna go there to make sure that everything's good to go. And we'll just finish up this intro. I wish that uh, Street Fighter 5 had more graphics like this and probably more character selections as um, we see that Street Fighter 5 is relatively new um, I think it's a lot more friendly and uh, fr gamer friendly meaning it's easier 
uh, compared to Street Fighter 4, which was probably a lot more technical and harder to play. Uh, but I did like a lot of the graphics in that there's two ultras versus there's only one in Street Fighter 5. But nevertheless, I do think uh, both games are pretty premium. I've always been a long time fan of Street Fighter. So I hope uh, the people who plan to buy Tournament Stick and Fight Stick will enjoy and find this video useful that you can use it on uh, your console or on your PC. And you know, with the deals coming out soon for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, so I hope um, this definitely helps you out. We just finished the intro for Ultra Street Fighter 4. Uh, that was on my 4K display laptop on the Dell XPS 15. So after the, I plugged in the fight arcade stick, the screen comes up, it says press start. I press the X button and it absolutely works right away. There's nothing else you need to configure. So I'm just trying to show you guys on screen. The knobble works really good. I'm going up and down, yes and no, yes and no. Then I'll press the X button again. Now it's gonna save the content for the first time as we look into the installation. So it's relatively quick that after you install the program that it runs really smooth. Um, you press OK. Now you look at the screen size, it's actually a lot smaller than my monitor. So you wanna optimize that, you go to options. Uh, first I check the screen configurations, it's not there. So you have to exit back out that by pressing circle and go down to graphics. Select graphics and it'll bring you to the resolution screen. So on my 4K display on the laptop, I had to go all the way to the maximum resolution, which is like 3000 by I think 1000 or 2000. So after that, then it maximized the screen. So to carefully adjust, I used the mouse to move it uh, perfectly to fit to fit the actual size and then I wish they had that button you know that would just auto adjust but there's no such thing so you back that out you go back to the main menu and I just want to test out the button so I can go to training mode and in training mode they ask you want to play online or not and then I, I like that in the Ultra Street Fighter 4 there's so many characters uh, everything's good to go you get all the combos and everything but uh, I'm right here, I'm selecting Yoon, and then we're gonna, one of the newer characters in Street Fighter 4 versus, uh, that came out relatively late. And I don't really like Ken, I think I was trying to go for Cody, so I'm gonna deselect them and go back to Cody. And I hope some of these new, uh, newer feature play, uh, characters in Street Fighter 4 is gonna be introduced in Street Fighter 5. They might be, I don't know how long, just, I think it will bring more, um, customers and, people into the gaming field of Street Fighter. So testing this out for the first time, going forward works fine. Going back, dashing back works for works well. Dashing forward works well. Crouching down, jumping up, light kick, me light punch, medium punch, light punch, light kick, medium kick. I think that was a hard kick and another hard kick. This is focus attack, focus attack which um, was basically only available in Street Fighter 4. I hope they do bring that back if they feel like it's like the animation and gameplay on that is actually pretty awesome. Uh, <clears throat> so we're just gonna look at some of the button checks just to make sure it works on PC. For those who doesn't have a PlayStation 4, uh, this is actually a really good option if you wanna buy Street Fighter 5 on PC and play with your uh, Mad Cats premium arcade stick. I'm pretty sure you've downloaded the right drivers and everything, it should work for your desktop so right here I want to show you on the monitor so I'm gonna have I you know I duplicated the screen I want to see uh, show a better view of the buttons and the gameplay so again I hope people do if they want to get a good deal usually I only see that uh, the better deals on this Mad Cats uh, arcade stick is probably on Amazon you know they do the prime shipping and probably the best deal is probably in their Black Friday or Cyber Monday and <laughs> as I adjust the screen which I should I just fast forward it then we see how the gameplay is so I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, this arcade state works out pretty well uh, leave me some feedback if you guys like comment like subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day Oh yeah, just a final note for those Apple users and iOS 10 users, there is software downloads on the Mad Cats 
download website. Thank you for watching.